Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at installing labels and decals in our fishing rod building tutorial series. This is the end result. It's a very easy process. Now you can print your own labels if you have a label printer. I actually just bought these uh, from the same company that I bought uh, the fishing rod blank from. It's called um, Mudhole.com. When you're working with labels, you want to use tape. Two pieces on the front uh, to hold it, uh, one piece on the back that just helps you peel it, and this way you don't put your fingerprints on the label at all. So this is the, the blank that we're going to use for this sample. Uh, this is a, a patriotic themed fishing pole that I'm working on. I already installed um, or, or adhered uh, the self-adhesive vinyl stars. So I'm just going to size up where this label is going to be and I'm going to remove the stars and just make sure that the label text is going to fit where I want it. I didn't show it, but the, the step prior to this is just to wipe down the blank uh, with an alcohol wipe, just to degrease it. This way everything sticks really well. Because this is a tight fit, I've got other graphics there. I'm just double checking to make sure that it's going to fit correctly. Then you want to trim your decal as close to the text as possible. Now right now I can handle it with my, with my hands and my fingers and, and I'm not going to leave any fingerprints because the sticky part of the tape, the adhesive part, is not exposed. It's still covered with a clear plastic film. They always say, measure, measure twice, cut once. I'm just confirming that everything's going to fit exactly where I want it. And then I actually like to just snip the corners. I find that if you leave the corners at the full 90, uh, you just have a tendency of maybe seeing that film in the finished product, that, that hard edge. If you cut 45s or if you cut a little arc, on the corners, it's just less likely to be seen. So now I've placed masking tape and I've peeled the back and I'm gonna hold that decal just by the masking tape, visually place it exactly where I want it. And you want this to go on smooth, no, no creases, uh, no bubbles, no air bubbles. So you kind of roll it into, into place. Once it's in position, you can remove that masking tape. And then I usually, usually use just a little burnishing tool just to get out, you know, any remaining bubbles and make sure the whole thing is adhered, you know, nice and flat. We're going to coat this with a pro coat. Uh, this is a two-part epoxy. Um, it comes with these syringes, which are really nice. You use the blue syringe, you know, for the blue and the red syringe for the, for the red part. Um, and this way you don't cross-contaminate and you can get a nice accurate measurement. You have to mix this stuff slowly for at least five minutes. You're mixing it slowly just to try to avoid getting too much, uh, too many bubbles into the mixture. I have a, a CRB a rod drying. Uh, it, all it is, it's a rack, but it turns the rod so that when you're applying the epoxy, that epoxy is not, does not have a tendency of dripping down to the bottom and dripping off. I'm going to paint on that epoxy just with a disposable paintbrush. You want to make sure that the entire decal is completely covered and then you can go back over and just smooth out you know any any high spots or low spots. If you also look at the table underneath I've just got uh, some shelf some plastic shelf liner which I got down at the local Ace Hardware but it's really cool stuff because if you do drip any epoxy onto it, uh, once it's hardened, it just peels right off. So I'm also going to coat the stars at the same time I'm doing the decals, uh, but the process is the same. You want to give it you know, one thin coat, make sure that every single square inch is covered, there's no dry spots. I use a uh, heat gun just to very lightly heat up you know, all of the epoxy. That helps get rid of any remaining bubbles. And there you have it. You have a decal. In this case, it says handcrafted by Captain Dan Berg. 
and this is a, again my patriotic themed uh, fishing rod. I'm going to cover the rod more in additional uh, videos. Please stay tuned for those. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would actually absolutely love to hear comments in the comments section. And I'd like to give you an invite to check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. We've got a bunch of fishing and boating related how-to projects on there. Thank you very much for watching.